Okay, I'm, I'm uh, Magnus René and I'm chief, chief executive of uh, Arkham. Arkham is a company making rapid manufacturing equipment uh, basically for aerospace and implant industry. And we had our first uh, sales, the first machine on the market in 2002. Since then we have installed uh, uh, a little bit more than 30 systems uh, worldwide. And they are in predominantly in uh, Europe, the US, and we just got our first sales in, uh, in Asia, in Japan. Most people refer to layer-based processes as laser-based processes. And our process is a layer-based process. We use a, 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 a layering technique to layer powder, and we melt the powder. We don't melt it with an, uh, a laser, but with an electron beam. And the, the difference between an electron beam and, uh, and a laser is that the laser is light, whereas the electron beam is obviously electrons. And uh, the electrons are, are, are generated in a, in a filament, which is like, it's a tungsten filament, like in a, in a light bulb, <coughs> and accelerated through a field down into the powder bed. And since they are electrons, they are controlled by um, uh, magnetic fields rather than with mirrors and, and, and that makes it possible for us to, to use a much higher uh, power than in a laser system. Uh, my name is Patrick Golden and I am the European Area Manager for Arcam representing the EBM technology, the Arcam EBM S12 machine. So here we have a model of a human skull, a patient that has suffered uh, a tumor where they've had to remove part of the skull. And then we have built a custom made implant, built exactly to fit, and we've made it in titanium. So we built this titanium implant with a lattice structure in order to reduce the weight even more, uh, since this makes it more convenient for the patient to wear it. And here we have a suspension part for um, motorsports, auto racing, and uh, in this case it's fully solid with full material properties which makes it possible to put it on the car and use it for actual racing. So it's built from titanium and the production time is about 20 hours from model to part. Here we have, have another part from motorsports, part of the exhaust system, uh, built in solid cobalt chrome for high temperature application. Here we have another example for the medical world where the patient had so much damage to the pelvis that it wasn't possible to use a standard implant. Instead, they modeled a customized one where you are able to distribute the forces to the bone by building practically wings to the actual implant. And it's made of titanium, fully solid, in order to take up the strains that will probably be subjected to it during 15 or 20 years of wear. This is an example of how you can use additive manufacturing to produce structures that are not possible to make in traditional methods. And this is a lightweight titanium structure, which typically can be used for um, aerospace structures, it could also be used for implants where you want the bone to grow into the implant or any other applications where you're looking for high strength and low weight combinations.